guys, welcome back or welcome. Um, today's video needs better lighting. Hold on, we're gonna go. Hold on, there we go. Um, <laughs> so you've you've seen on my Twitter, on my Instagram, you see that I have a new series coming out. You know, you know it's springtime almost, so you kind of can guess what series this is gonna be. This is gonna be my deep cleaning series for 2021. Um, I will have a link in the description box. 2020's deep cleaning series if you want to check it out um but I was like thinking today I want to introduce all the cleaning products that I will be using in any of my cleaning videos or any of my like my deep cleaning so you'll know like heads up this is what I actually use every day if you hear in the background there's either two things here in the background. My washing machine or my child. She entertains herself somewhat. But after a while she gets restless. Um, and she gotta see what mommy's doing. So but it's mom life, you guys pick and choose your battles. So, um, today I was gonna go through all the cleaning products that I use nowadays. I did one last year. I think it was the early on, like the beginning of when I started my channel, I did a like, um, show you what I use. Technically, some of it hasn't changed, I would say. Um, there's a good bit, but also you might want to try what I try. You might use the same thing I do, and you're like, oh, okay. So, but I would say some of this stuff, like my laundry detergent is, uh, like I'm trying this out so that's right now I'm dry I'm using this but usually I try Snuggies laundry detergent um and Snuggies little beads that make the beautiful smell for your like your I use those two things for towels or sheets only I don't use them for my clothes so um but they're not in this I have a I have my, all my clean water drop beside me I just don't have those right now because I ran out of them and I'm trying what I ordered on Grove. But I am on a budget right now so Grove might be out of the question for the next few months. <laughs> so it's going to be Snuggies. That's what I usually use for a laundry detergent and the little beads. So it just heads up. Um, but on that, everything else I use, I don't mind. Like I used, I don't have in this area bleach. I used to use bleach all the time, but I used to mess up my clothes all the time. So kind of died down and also give my countertops a break. <laughs> but once in a while you gotta bring the bleach in because sometimes you just need that extra boost. So I still use bleach, just not as much. So. But on that, I think everything else I still use and still like, and this is the products I like. So, here we go. Also, in this video, I will be deep cleaning my vacuum because right now it won't vacuum well. And I was like, you know what? You have to sometimes deep clean the instruments that you use. So, I was like, that's a good intro to the start of the deep cleaning because I really need to deep clean my vacuum so it will actually work better. I did it once but I guess I didn't do it good enough so I have to go back in there and I'm going to show you if you have my kind of vacuum which is a shark. Not coral, it's got a cord. Um, so just because you have that kind of vacuum I'm going to help you out there. I might have to look on YouTube myself but just find nicks and crannies of how to get stuff out without breaking it because this I can't afford another vacuum I bought that with my Christmas money last year yeah <laughs> so but let's get started all right first I'm gonna go grab is the first thing near me I've been using this one recently I'm trying it out I like it I like the smell um but you on a budget you gotta do what you gotta do get that Snuggies I use the Snuggie laundry detergent but I'm trying this out because I already ordered it. I'm not going to waste. Like, I got a bathroom spray from Grove. And I didn't like the smell. It was just not my cup of tea. So, I didn't waste it. I gave it to a friend who would actually use it. So, that's one thing about me. I don't waste cleaning products. I will, eat, I will either give it to somebody or I will use it until it's gone. And I'm like, okay, I'm never buying that again. So, I will say I'm not wasteful when it comes to my cleaning products. Because it's honey. 
that's expensive. <laughs> so, I'm trying this one. This is the ginger mango. I love the smell. Highly recommend. If you're going to get method, I would recommend this one. This is the mail. So, it's my laundry charger at the moment. <laughs> and then we have the beads. Now, somebody, I took a picture of this. They put it on my Instagram story. That was my computer telling me I'm done exporting a video. <laughs> um, but um, I took a picture of this on my Instagram story. And so my, my friend told me, she was like, that looks like popcorn seeds. And I was like, oh, snap, you right. <laughs> so stay away from kids. He <laughs> has an air. Stay away from kids. Um, but um, I have all my stuff either locked up or high enough that my kids can't get it. So. Uh, this is also the ginger mango I wanted to keep with the smells the same because I want to be like, oh, this one's a different smell and then this one's a different smell and it's like cat crashing into each other. I don't want to do that. So I got the same smell and I love it. So, keeps fragrance fresh for 12 weeks. I'm keeping my mouth shut. That's a lie. Maybe for some people, but not me. <laughs> but I actually like the smell. But I'm not going to say it lasts 12 weeks. <laughs> alright, alright. <laughs> um, we're still in the charging area. They're in the front area of it. Shout. Let me tell you about shout. I don't know anybody else about this. But I don't even shout when my kids have stains or I have a stain or something. But my stepfather put this on his thing and let it sit. And he has a hole where he put the shout in. So it eats it. So if I was you, I don't know if anybody else had that issue. Oh, that's pretty. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I love you. You a mess. I love you. I love you too. Yummy. So what I do is put the shout on the clothes, scrub it get scrub the clothes together, and then throw it in the washing machine and I wash them right then. So I don't want that incident for myself to happen. So that's what I do. I don't know if anybody else went through that. Comment below and let me know if you actually had that happen. Um but even if it's that incident, they still use shout, they just know to spray it throw it in the washing machine right there so but shout is the best i used to carry around a tie pin but then i got my purse even smaller so yeah <laughs> and i never really used it i thought i would i don't so but shout is what i use on my kids day especially my daughter being in baseball y'all know y'all know <laughs> i'm glad she's on a slider but i'm waiting for it Alright, we're gonna do. I got one more. I put it in a pack. <laughs> um, I used to get the big one, but budget was very tight, and so I just grabbed the small pack. And that's just a good bit. I get the. These, I've heard these um, pies, they're bad, but plastic can't get up and everything. I never had a problem. I've never had a problem. But I'd rather use these than the liquid kind, because. I have an issue I will probably overuse the liquid kind so that's why I was like the pods are easy they're already measured out and everything else it's just easier I've never had an issue with the pods so but um, I have a little container in the laundry room that I poured it in but I'm going to use the ones I have already in there and I just pour them in there and go for it so that's what I usually do um, I got the container from Dollar Tree so, <laughs> so, but this is what I use. I use all because the stain. Because my when I was living with my roommate, she was allergic to Tide. Um, so we try to stay away from Tide. Oh, last thing a lot of you do is Tide, but you got what you do what you use. Also, my family's allergic I think it's my stepfather who's allergic to gain so I'll stay away from gain um we haven't had any issues with either of those as a family but since I lived with a roommate who did not was allergic to tie and then I had 
a family member who's allergic to game, I just stick with all. <laughs> I think my mom uses Thai. But I just stick with all because one, I've never had an issue with it. None of us are allergic to it. I, even when my roommate was living, I mean living, excuse me, living with me though. Um, she never had an issue with it just in case she had a bar of my detergent or we bought the detergent together. Um, we never had an issue with it. Nobody's been allergic to it. So ever since then, I've been sticking with all. And until one day, I'd like to have another kid. My daughter's been like, heck no. <laughs> but um, until we figure out anybody's allergic to it, we're going to keep on using all. That's what we use. That's what we're going to stick with. We stick with what we know. Okay, people? Um, so, here is what I use for the girls. It's also all. <laughs> I love that brand. But it's all baby. And any of you new moms, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I never bought Drift. I looked at the price though. I never bought Drift. I had family members who bought Drift at a baby shower. Yeah. It's pricey. Drift is pricey. Like, go, go somewhere with that price. So, what I found, I looked around at different products besides Drift because Drift is so dang expensive. But, for you new moms, if they are not alert, try it out. Your kids good with it, get it. But the all baby is way cheaper than drip and it does the same exact thing. Um You got enough snacks? <laughs> Pick and choose your battles, people. <laughs> but um but this is what I use. It's so much cheaper. I still use it for my kids. One day I will switch them over to this. But for right now, since I would say, I won't say she's in the baby stage since she's two, but she still has that baby skin. So I want to stick with this probably until she's about four or five. And then I'll probably switch over to normal. But since I'm washing her clothes separately still, I wash her sister's clothes a bit. So at least I have a good load. If not, it's going to take a minute to give me a good load for my younger child's laundry. So, this is what I use for kids. Anybody who's having a baby or anybody you know is having a baby, way cheaper than draft. And it does the same, same, same. Just saying. I can't find it in my stores. I have to order. I order two of these on Amazon. I'll tell you what's up. Okay. You can find it on Amazon. Because ever since the pandemic, I can't find this in store anymore. So, Amazon, <laughs> that job, bomb. But this is what I use for the kids. And I really want to give that heads up to any parents who come up, have a baby. Cheaper. Way cheaper. All right, we're gonna move on to the kitchen. I'm like, I have three things, what? Four, four, four things. All right, I started using this just recently. I've been using bleach, but I've been using the method, let's see. I have a, I have a uh, stockpile under my sink and in my laundry room, so I'm good for a minute. Uh, but I like the Honeycrisp apple and the dragon fruit. Uh, a lot of people say it's good for kids, good for pets. I agree. Um, but when in doubt, when your budget is tight, do what you gotta do. Get that awesome spray of Dollar Tree. I used to live off that stuff. I'm just saying. If your money is tight for some cleaning products, awesome spray is awesome at Dollar Tree. Um, there's a few here and there stuff from Walmart you can get. So, so when in doubt, you don't have to get method. The only place I can find method besides the Grow Group, the app, is CVS in my area. Walmart don't even care. So, and I ain't driving 30 minutes to Target. So, um. But those are the two kinds I like over this. I like the method. And I'm picky on my scent too. So. <laughs> but, um, but when in doubt, awesome spray of Dollar Tree does a trick. <laughs> and then I got the method de greaser. I use this on my stove mostly because you know when you cook, you gotta have that extra boss. Um, and I got the lemongrass. It's okay, smile. 
like not blowing away smell so um that's what I use then we're gonna do the dish stuff um I love this scent and I probably can't get it anymore because it's a Christmas scent orange glows best thing ever. um this is Myers I don't use a lot of her cleaning products but I do like her soaps I will say that but when in doubt and you need to just pay for like a dollar or something at Walmart for our soap, do that because I've done that plenty of times with my kids because they overuse and they're out like that. So I have to get the, the cheap stuff, but I gotta get a reasonable price because they got there real quick. But I do love this kind. Highly recommend. <laughs> the scent, I love the scent though. But it's a good kind of use for dishes. Now, sometimes you gotta bring out the big guns. I use Dawn for anything that needs to be soaked, anything that's caked on, anything that's going to be hard to get up. No offense, Mrs. Meyer, but Dawn is the thing. Like, I have it. I have these two right beside each other. I just don't have just this on my sink. No, but, but we got to have Dawn. Because if my husband needs to work on his car, Dawn gets the grease out of his hand. Um, the, something needs to be soaked or something needs it's hard and get off. Dawn's thing. No offense, Mrs. Meyer, but just your favorite duty stuff. So, but if you got Dawn, stick with it, girl. I would say I will spend a pretty penny on Dawn and actually the name instead of the off brand because I would say Dawn works magic. So, that's probably the only thing I would probably buy a name brand besides my detergent. I don't know, dishwash yourself, yeah, it's the real. So, but I will say this, Dawn, yep, gotta bring out the big guns. So, this is what I use for my dish washer. Oh, hello. Cascade complete. And the thing is, this container I've had for months, I've just been adding to it because my, my budget's tight. I will buy this like the small packets like this and just throw them in there. So that's what I use. Um, I need to buy those little ones that you the liquid kind of put in my dishwasher, but I haven't done that. I just might buy these. But it's what I use. Um, the Cascade Complete is what I use for dishwasher. I think a lot of people use that. It's a, it's a brand. It's a but dishwasher stuff is so expensive. But I'm thinking, I don't want to wash dishes. <laughs> but I will. But. Oh. Oops. My bad. <laughs> Alright, we're going to move on. Two. I don't know what we're moving on to, but we're moving on to something. I guess we do the bathroom. Okay. This is what I use my Lysol. I use my Lysol, the Lemon Scent All Purpose Cleaner for both my bathrooms. I got one, I got two bottles of this. One's in that bathroom and one's in the other bathroom. So I don't feel like carry this back and forth and all that. I do the same thing with my rags. I have like maybe three or four rags in this bathroom, which is the girls' bathroom, already in there. So I have to keep on going back and forth because my linen closet in my bathroom, so I don't count mine. So this is what I use for my sinks, bathtubs, showers. Yeah. This is what I use. Also, it's a disinfectant. And also, I love the scent. It's so much better than that, no offense method, but that scent is just not my cup of tea, so no. <laughs> but I couldn't get a thing. I think I threw away the box. Um, I use the toilet cleaner. I actually splurge. I sound like Trader Trash Sammy. Yes, I watch her. <laughs> oh, because <laughs> she's so entertaining some days. But, uh, I splurge on my toilet cleaner. Um, I use the refill toilet cleaner Clorox with the wand. I use that. I've always used that ever since I moved out of my parents' house. I've, I've always used that and I, I love it. Um, I mean, money was really, 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 really tight. I'll suck it up and get like a spray and go in there and go the old fashioned way, but if I got a little bit of money to actually get it oh i got to get the refills but i actually bought a big huge box of refills about two months ago 
um, from Amazon, and that was the best thing I ever did. So, if you want to check that out and get big old a big old box of refills for it, you hear. She's into the cookie pops. Um, you can, if you really want to buy it like that, go on Amazon. You'll find it. Um, that's what I did, and I'm so glad I did it. Cause I haven't had a pack buy a pack in a while, so highly recommend that. I love Amazon. I'm Amazon queen right now. Yes, baby. Okay. All right. We're we'll gonna move on. I mean, this is considered Dustin bathroom stuff. The glass cleaner from Method. I don't know what it's called, but I know it's a glass cleaner. It comes a little tube like this big, and then you put water in it. Um. I use on all my mirrors in the house and my sliding door and my um what is it glass door? I don't know. Um I use this because I like it. Haven't I haven't tried jaws but I don't know if I will because money is tight. But this works for me. I'm fine with it. Alright, what I'm gonna do is put it back where it was. So I don't lose it. Alright, I'm also going to show you. This is from Dollar Tree. If anybody wants one, it holds all my clean products, especially my dusty stuff. So, I use Pledge. I'm almost out. Um, but I have backup. Um, I use the lemon. Um, I use this. I always use this. I'm going to probably buy more, but I have this big old hunk of book of thing right here. So, method daily wood cleaner i won't use the rest i'll use this and then i'll buy another one so i'm not wasting so i haven't been using this i've been using stick in my pledge um but i, tr I bought this to try it out that's what i did but this is the almond i actually have used this already just not much i like the smell um but favorite i've seen a lot of youtubers use it they stick with this one I mean, you got some YouTubers that are like, I, I use my method. I'll use the method for a second, but I'm going back one of my basics. I'm going to put that back. I, you can see I haven't tried this yet. I don't know if I want to try this. I don't even have that much wood and stuff. But you know what? I won't try it out. You see it, the thing's still on there. But I think when my orange buzz gets out, I'll start using this. And then once it's that, it's gone. I'm going to get my orange buzz back. Alright. Orange glow. It's the bomb diggity diggity. Yeah. Love the smell. I love what it does to my wood. On my hope chest, my kitchen table. Um, those two tables beside my bed were all scratched up and messy and stuff because the cat got all over it. And I used this for a few like maybe, maybe two to three months use this every time I dust it. I use my pledge, but then I use this right after it. Just to give it a bump. Um, now they look, I want to say a little brand new, but they look way better than what they used to look. So I highly recommend some orange glow. Also, I give this, one, this thing a little bit of pep every once in a while. So I will recommend orange glow. I don't like the smell. <laughs> but the thing is about me, I have two separate rags in my caddy thing um because I don't want to mix in because this is so much oilier than the pledge of course you know I mean the, that's what it is it's a polish cleaner so I get a I usually try to stick with orange <laughs> orange way oh but sometimes it don't happen but I always grab two rags separate well, I forgot what it called I bought a pack at Walmart maybe a year ago and I'm so glad I did because I used to buy you know like it, they're in a swiffer section but you can use it for dusting my mom was always used it for dusting um and I was like I was going through them and I was like I'm paying more money for cleaning products so I was like you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna buy a pack of these my husband has a pack because he bought for one for his car, but these are in the. I bought this pack, and they were the best decision ever. Because I don't have to buy that 
stuff that I used that my mom's always used to wipe down my furniture and then throw away. You can wash these and call it a day. Best decision. Yeah, you got the money at the, at the beginning, but they're still around after a year ago. A year ago. I mean, some of them are stained up a little bit here and there, but they're clean. <laughs> Your washing machine ain't doing their job. You might need to talk to the washing machine, but they're clean. <laughs> so that's what I use to dust and do my orange glow. Is these rags? I used to do all my kitchen counters, but see what happened was. It just didn't look like it was getting wiped that good. It was just, I didn't like the way it looked after I wiped it down with these rags. And I'll use Method or I'll use my, I didn't use my bleach at the moment. But I'll use my Method and i use this and it just didn't look right. But then I was, I was like, let me try this out. I did my Method and a paper towel. <laughs> Came out pretty good. So I was like, mm, I might have to splurge on my paper towels. Which I don't really throw. The only thing I ever use on paper towels to wipe down is my kitchen. Everything else is rags. Even my bathrooms. So. I would say. I have to just buy paper towels every once in a while. <laughs> but you know me. Before this pandemic. I used to buy my toilet paper in bulk. Like the big old packs. And also my paper towels in big old packs. So, I've always bought like that. It lasted longer. I had to go to the store every two seconds to get paper towel. So, I would say that. But when the pandemic came around, it was hard to get those big packs. So, you gotta get what you gotta get. But, that's what I used to do since they've been pretty good about having paper towels out there and toilet paper. <laughs> We've been doing good on our big packs. I try. Any mom or dad, or grandma, or grandpa, or aunt and uncle. <laughs> yeah, you see it's wore out of you. Know. Magic Racer is, is Jesus. This is the whole grail. Um, because my daughter got marker all over my wall. Her sister's headboard on her bed, her sheets and everything. Hmm. Thank God for shout. It got out the sheets. And this got off the wall and off the headboard. Thank God. Um, I also got a crown out of my car, but I had to have a little bit of boost with that too. That one was a little hard. Maybe it's the texture of my car. But bomb weed. I've seen a lot of people use it for their dit um their. I want to say dash. Is it? No, it's not dashboard. But you know the little thing at the bottom on your wall. Um, a lot of people use this. I agree. Um, anything I have, like, really have to scrub, and I know none of my cleaners are going to do it. Magic Racer. Always have my caddy. I have one in my caddy. Yes, I call it a caddy. And then I have one in my kitchen, near, our, near my kitchen sink, just in case I need one. If you're a parent, you need this. I know they're pricey, but you could buy a big box of them. Maybe I think it's got six of them in there. It lasts a while. Recommend. Yes, babe. No, you cannot have those balls. Yeah, balls. Okay. Yep. And this is the orange color. You know how to get that scent because, you know, if I had a, the dish soap scent, you know I gotta get a spray. This is the room refresher I used to use and I probably will go back. I'm saying I don't like this. But this is only in winter time they sell this one. But um I buy the this video is gonna be long. But because I don't even clean my video vacuum yet. Um but I use the Febreze kind to do on all the beds. Once I take the sheets off, I spray it on the mattress. I spray it around the room. So I do use Febreze spray, but I also like this kind. Probably get it next year and during Christmas. Orange glow scent, the room refresher. Recommend. But I do use um, Febreze. When in doubt, 
And then my last but not least, is that really last but not least? Okay, thank God. Um, my carpet refresher. I just got this, and I this is my second batch of it. I buy it two at a time because, yeah, you got to. You got to do it like that. Um, this is Aunt and Fanny's the carpet refresher. What scent is this? You know how much scent on here? It's not. It smells good though. When I do put it on my carpet, it smells very good. Um, but I've been using this lately. I I wanted something like this for my carpets because I have a dog in a house. I have two kids in a house. Um, so our carpet goes through a lot, and sometimes you need a little boost, to make it smell good in a room, and sometimes your, your carpet needs that. So. I bought these, I bought two at a time, and I bought them, and I liked them, and I was like, okay, in my next order, I'll put two more in that box. I got this from Grove. Might look around and see if there's anything cheaper, probably. Um, but so far, if I ever had to order something from Grove, I'd probably buy this scent, probably next Christmas. And I do like their laundry detergent, but when in doubt, I'll buy Snuggies. And maybe their method spray every once in a while and this. So I think that's what I'm gonna put. And their toilet paper. I don't mind their toilet paper. Toilet paper's fine. Um but now I think I wanna just like keep it real. I like their candles. I have them everywhere in my house. But they're expensive. So when and down Walmart. Alright. <laughs> when and down Walmart. But that is it for my cleaning products. Um, I even recommend the stuff I don't have on me at the moment that I love. Um, this video is going to be flipping long. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'm going to get started cleaning my vacuum. So I can actually vacuum my house. Because I vacuumed my part of my house yesterday and my bedroom. And it's just, you can see it's having a hard time sucking whatever it needs. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> get your mind out together, people. Um, but it needs a good cleaning. It's it had a good cleaning at one time, but I didn't really deep clean it. So I'll probably look on YouTube to see if anybody actually has my vacuum. So maybe I can get some tips. If not, you're about to get this in this video. This video is gonna be long because I talked a lot. But when doubt, um. Be on the lookout for my deep cleaning series 2021. I will have a playlist set up. So if you miss part one or part two or something like that, it's being a playlist. You can watch it later. So, but I'm going to get started on the vacuum. But my social medias are down in the description box. Check it out. And please subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And if you like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up. I probably do the thing every six to six months six months to a year because you know you change products every once in a while and every once in a while you get on a budget and you have to use the cheaper product and a lot of you tubers don't use the cheaper product anymore because they get sponsored they get this and that and they can afford it some of us as real people cannot yes if i ever make good money off of youtube I'll still stick with what I know. I'll stick with my lasso. I'll stick with my all. I'll maybe once in a while buy some method spray. But I'll stick with my what I know. I'm sorry. Even if people give me a sponsor, I'm like, no, I'm sticking with what I know. Don, sponsor me, baby. <laughs> Just kidding. So, I'm sticking with what I know. So. But, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's been a long video. I hope you stick around. And, I'll see y'all soon, guys. Alright, I said in my previous part of the video. I don't know, I'm not going to separate, so who knows. I said there's one thing you need to do when you deep clean stuff. You need to get your equipment clean. I just watched a video. Oh my god. Sorry about this. This won't suck no more, and I just watched a video, but this part right here comes off. So. I might explain why my vacuum <laughs> is just sucking like I used to. Because I've never cleaned it since I had it. I had this thing a year. So, so it's fun. <laughs> Alright, I got a trash can here, so I had to go back and forth. So, 
you want to go set it off. Empty this. The reason I was watching on YouTube had a, their problem is it's not like a dog. My problem is suction is not there anymore. No Even says on here, clean filter every month or lose suction may occur. That is what is occurring because I've never cleaned this. I didn't know this came apart. <laughs>